Yo guys, Saurav here and today we will be talking about floating point numbers and specifically regarding the error associated when programming languages try to process these numbers. Floating numbers are simply numbers which are fractions and have a decimal point in them like 1.5 or 0.9 or 0.8. You get it. But let's say we try to subtract 0.8 from 0.9. The answer should be 0.1, right? Well, not really. Let's try to do this calculation in a python shell and you'll see for yourself. What? 0 0.0999? Well, that isn't the answer which we expected, right? I mean, the number is really close to 0 0.1, but it's definitely not equal to it. Even when we add the two numbers, there's a 2 at the end. Shouldn't the answer just be a simple 1.7? Let's try doing this in JavaScript as well. Same exact result. I'm sure Java won't have this problem. Well, it does. So why does this happen? We know that a computer stores all of its information in a binary format, which is just a bunch of ones and zeros. The problem comes when a computer tries to store a floating point number in binary. You see, while some floating numbers like 0.5 have an exact binary conversion, other floating numbers like 0.9 for example cannot exactly be converted to binary. In this case, the compiler chooses a number closest to 0.9 such that it has a exact binary conversion, which in this case happens to be 0 0.8999. This binary representation is used for 0 0.9 instead. All these tiny errors propagate and result in situations like we saw earlier. I found this great website which will help to demonstrate this error in binary conversion. An integer number like 23 has no problem in getting converted to binary. Even some floating numbers like 1.5 have a zero conversion error. But when 23.9 is converted, the nearest number which has the exact binary representation is in fact 23.899, leading to a tiny conversion error. Same is the case with 0 0.8 as well. The closest number chosen is 0 0.7998 which leads to a conversion error again. So the next time you're working on a computer program which is sensitive to such tiny errors, do make sure that you are properly rounding off your floating point numbers wherever needed.